The Pyeongchang Winter Paralympic Games begins with the opening ceremony tonight. Our Wan jong an is standing by for us at the Olympic Plaza in the Alpine City. jong an what's the atmosphere there like right now? Hi, Daniel. Yes, the Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Paralympic Games will open very soon. The atmosphere was pretty quiet before, but as the start of the opening ceremony approaches, the Olympic Five is starting to build up. And let's have a listen to some of the people who have already gathered around the venue. Uh, we're just very excited to be here. Um, the expectations, we just want to be a part of something that's so big, and especially here in Korea. We know that it's going to be something pretty incredible. At the Olympics opening ceremony, there were some spectacular drone performances. And as the opening ceremony is all about special performances, I am looking forward to it. Well, from what I saw of the Olympic opening ceremony, um, it was very spectacular. I mean, the theatrics were beautiful, and um, there was so much representation of the Korean culture, which I think was really cool. And besides the atmosphere, the weather over here at Pyeongchang is also improving in time for the opening ceremony. Even in the afternoon today, there was still some snow, but fortunately, it has stopped now. So the ceremony should be dry and not that cold, for the 35,000 spectators inside the stadium. Joanne, could you tell us a little bit more about the opening ceremony itself? What will be the highlight of the event? Yes, Daniel, although the details of the ceremony hasn't been fully revealed, the opening ceremony for the Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Paralympics will be all about demonstrating the key four Paralympic values, which will be determination, inspiration, courage, and equality. The two-hour opening ceremony will be conducted by Lee Moon Tae, the president of the Korean Traditional Performing Art Foundation, and he said there will be some elements that symbolize peaceful coexistence between able-bodied people and those with disabilities. And Grammy Award-winning soprano Cho Sumi will also perform at the opening ceremony. She will sing "Here as One," the theme tune of the Paralympics, which highlights once again that this is a place of unity and companionship that overcomes barriers. And the organizers have said there will be a particularly touching finale to the eight-day Paralympic torch relay that involved 800 torch bearers when the final torch bearer goes to light the Paralympic flame. Now, turning to the athletes' entrance now, jong uh, unfortunately, there might not be another historic moment just like at the Olympic last month when the South and North Korean delegation marched together under the unification flag this time. Indeed, unfortunately, we won't be able to see the joint march this time as the two Koreas have decided to change things up tonight for the opening ceremony. Yesterday, officials from the two Koreas met to discuss the details of the joint parade, but they couldn't agree on whether Tokdo, Korea's eastmostern island, should appear on the unification flag. The issue between the two Koreas eventually led to the decision for them to march in separately. But Daniel, despite the decision, the Korean Paralympic Committee has proposed that representatives of the South and the North carry the Paralympic torch together for the relay, as North Korea is making its Winter Paralympic debut. That's all for me now, but I'll be back in two hours with more detail on the opening ceremony. Back to you, Daniel. Right, it'll be